Hi, my name is Candy and thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. This video we're going to be talking about adoptive mother breastfeeding. This is a topic that has become quite popular in the adoptive world, I would say, um, because this is an option that a lot of adoptive moms are looking into. Um, I know that I looked into it. This was one of the things that I definitely did look into when I knew that we were considering adoption and when we started our journey. However, I didn't do anything with it. I, I didn't look into necessarily all the steps or anything like that because again, I felt like we had time. I felt we had over a year. So I knew that there was no rush. I knew there was no rush. I was wrong. Um. I'm one of those people that I feel like breast milk is gold. I think it fixes everything. I think it is liquid heaven, you know? Um, but it, I, I, I don't have it because I didn't birth a child. And it's not even to say not every woman that gives birth naturally can breastfeed. So again, but we're here to talk about adoptive mothers breastfeeding. So yes. Those of you who didn't know that it was a thing, it is a thing, okay? Men can lactate. Anyone can lactate. It is a process though. It is a process, it is not an overnight thing. So you have to understand if this is something that you want to do, you have to be patient and it is gonna take time and there are a few methods that you can take. However, you have to consider that if you do this, um, you may be doing this for nothing. And when I say this, you may be going through all this, these steps to find out in the end, you cannot produce any milk. That is a possibility because some women just cannot produce milk. It's just not gonna happen for you. Or you may produce milk. You may be one of the fortunate ones and be able to produce milk and your adoption fails and there is no baby. So you may have to deal with the emotion that comes with the aftermath of that. Now I have this milk in preparation for a baby that I do not have. And a next match may not be around the corner. So there, it's a give or take. As you know, if you are adopting, have adopted, are considering adoption, it is an emotional roller coaster no matter how you look at it. If it's successful, if it's not successful, if you're waiting, not, it is just an emotional roller coaster. So you just have to be prepared for everything, no matter what, and just, be patient and know that your baby is out there. So positivity. You just have to be positive and know that it's going to happen. So now if you're going to decide to do this, you are going to have to be prepared to be on a schedule. You're going to have to be prepared to stimulate your breasts and your nipples regularly and when I say that it is recommended that you manually stimulate your breasts and your nipples regularly but it is highly recommended that you use a medically medical grade breast pump they're not cheap they're not cheap by any means however that is really what is going to get it going it is also recommended that you pump at least every two hours and you could be doing this for months every day. I will also let you know that women that have never been pregnant. So you have, I've never been pregnant in my life, right? So there's a certain hormone in me that has never been released. It would be very difficult for me to lactate because there's a certain hormone that is produced within a woman, that's excreted within a woman as soon as she becomes pregnant. As soon as she becomes pregnant, she may not deliver that baby. That hormone is still produced in her. So something happens with her breast tissue. That never happened with mine. So it's going to take me longer. There's a good chance it will never happen for me again because I've never been pregnant. So a woman that has breastfed or that has been pregnant before will have a higher success rate than me 
It's not to say that I could not do it or it would be unsuccessful. She would just have a higher success rate than I would. I would just have to be very persistent and very patient and then at some point say, you know what, this, this isn't gonna work. So manually stimulate your breasts and then get a medical grade breast pump and pump every two hours. You then wanna add some herbs in there and then you want to get like some herbal teas like milk, milk thistle they sell these in the supermarket if you've been doing this for about a month two months and you notice no change you can then go to your doctor and your doctor can um, prescribe you some hormones that is on you if you want to take hormones I am NOT a fan of hormones and I will say that for any woman that has gone through fertility treatments but they will put you on hormones and those hormones are gonna um, help your prolactin level and that is what is going to help you to lactate. Without that, you can't lactate. Those usually help. There's a risk in taking herbs, there's a risk in taking hormones, so you have to, out, you have to weigh the risk and the benefits for yourself. And again, understand that this may not happen with the hormones, with the herbs, with the pumping, and the manual the, with the manual stimulation. This still may not happen for you, but you have to try if this is what you wanna do. If you are rigorous, rigorously doing all of this and you get the call that your baby is born and you get that baby, take that baby and put that baby on your breast and just let the baby suckle. Just let, it, let the baby do it. Because a lot of times what will happen is some type of endorphins will be released and that baby sometimes can get you to start lactating. The craziest thing is how our body works, but it can happen. So go ahead, let the baby suckle. If anything else, that is stimulating your breasts. It's stimulating your follicles. It is helping all your breast tissue in there. Just let the baby suckle. It soothes the baby. You can also get... Um, these feeders and they will actually connect down and you can tape them down to your nipple and you can um put i don't remember exactly what it's called right at this very moment but you can put milk into it and while the baby suck suckling your nipple it's actually getting milk at the same time so the baby doesn't really understand that it's not getting it from the nipple but it is still stimulating your nipple so that's something to look into okay Anything you want to do, this is your time to do it because if breastfeeding is something you really, really, really are passionate about, I would say to kind of give it like a 100% effort if you have the time. We didn't have the time. We just didn't have the time. You know, we got the call the day our daughter was born. So um, that's what I have on that. You just have to remember that you have to be consistent with it. Start months in advance months in advance so if you are matched with a birth mom and she's at least five months pregnant i would start now you know what i mean i'm um, getting the call saying that baby's born i wouldn't I, I mean i wouldn't even try just because it's not enough time it's not enough time to kind of shift your body and get everything especially when you're about to bring a newborn home you don't have time to pump you don't have time to do all of that it's just it's, it i don't know it just seems daunting to me now but um, if any of you have successfully breastfed your adoptive um, babies and started late, I want to know about the ones that started late, not the ones that did it all nice and early. I mean, that's great. Congratulations. But started late. How was the journey and exactly what did you do? Did you do the hormones? Did you do herbs? Did you do manual stimulation? What, did, what exactly did you do? Because, I mean, like I said, you know, we'd like to adopt again and I just want to know for myself. Um, what did you do? How late did you actually start? And have you ever been pregnant before? And if that is way too much for you to answer me you can send me an email. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. Um, please go ahead and like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, turn on your notifications so you know when I upload new videos. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.